In this tutorial, I will show how to prepare your model for exporting a simple Mars model from Vasari to VLUX Daylight Visualizer for early daylight studies. First, I just want to explain how VLUX works with imported geometry. It is important that you export your model so it's possible to assign material to the different surfaces. It works for something called elements, we call them element groups, and it's necessary to have, for example, roof and glaze in different element groups. So it's possible to assign specific materials for these groups. Another thing that is important to mention about VLUX Daylight Visualizer, that is, it can only calculate the daylight if it's a closed space. It cannot simulate the exterior spaces for how much light there is. It's only inside a building. So there need to be a wall, floor, ceiling or roof or some kind of glaze material so the light can come in. So this is important to remember when you are modeling your model. Because of Velux works with element groups or layers, you need to put the different geometry into different layers. And just quickly show how this works. I'll just create a new mass. And when you create a mass, it will automatically put it in a subcategory form. And this you could compare to a layer. As you maybe know, Vasari and Revit doesn't work with layers. It works with categories instead. But you can export these as layers. So if you want to put this in a, another layer, you select the object and go to the properties and subcategory and here you will get a list of those subcategories that is as default there is not that many but to create new you go to manage object styles and if we open mass and get the sub menu you can see the different default subcategories I have already created some but in this case I actually need one more that could be called mass ground so I have the possibility of assigned specific material for the ground so I press on new down here on modify subcategories and I could call this for mass ground and the subcategory of mass and when I click OK we'll see it pops up here and I could also give this a default material so if I press here I can select the material from my material library it could for example be ground road and just press OK for this and then every time I select or move an object to another subcategory it will have this material assigned as default and I'll press OK for this and I'll select this object Object and under properties I will change the subcategory from form the default subcategory to this new that is called mass ground as an example I will just cancel this one because this was just an example in this project that is used the mass floor function that is I zoom a little bit in on this object if I have created a mass then I can select or add mass floors as we can see here and then I can specify which levels I want to use and divide the big mass up in floors. When I use this function I can use another function under analyze using the energy analysis functionalities. Because we are at this very early stage then it would be alright to have percentages of glazing. That's why we can use these energy analysis functionalities. By enabling the energy model then it creates an energy model and adding percentages of glazing for example and we can specify that going to energy settings in here it's as default as 40% glazing we could also put in some shade because this model is a very simple model without any thickness then the shade could act as a thickness of the wall for example because it have a huge impact the thickness of the wall regarding the daylight level. So this is a little trick of, of creating conceptual thickness to your model. So I click this on and specify shade depth of 500 for example and then just press OK. Then we get this kind of model where we have a conceptual glazing percent and this is fine for this early stage. The next step is to export 
the model and we're doing that by going to the Vasari icon up in the left corner go to export at cat formats as dvg files then this export window pops up here we need to go in and specify and assign layers to subcategories do that by click on this icon a new window pops up this is the export setup here we can specify a lot of stuff what we should look at in this case is just this about layers. As mentioned earlier, all objects in Vasai and Revit is divided up in categories and if we go to mass objects that we have been using in Vasai, we see that it's these subcategories. And here is the layer the categories will be exported to. And especially for the mass, it's as default only one layer. So here we need to specify new layer names for each of these different objects types. So for example if we want to give the context a specific material inside Relux Daylight Visualizer then we need to assign a layer name to mask context. We could call it the same name. And I need to do that for all of these different mask objects. As minimum you should specify these subcategories as I have specified here. Then you are ready to either save this or just save it on the default in session export setup or create a new setup by clicking here and giving a name for example Velux export and then click OK for this and next and then giving it a logical name another very important thing is that save always these export files in for example AutoCAD 2000 DVD file format and you should not export views on sheet and links as external reference it should be like specified here and then click OK and then it will export the model as a DVD file and to summarize some of these tips first I created new subcategories so I had the opportunity to put stuff on different categories so I controlled the material assignment better in Velux Daylight Visualizer. And then I specified names for these subcategories so I had the opportunity of giving these subcategories separate layers. So you later when you have imported the model have the option of specifying specific element groups inside Velux.